Does Ron Rivera get fired after another performance like that? All right. So if Washington was going to fire Ron Rivera during the season, they would have by now. For y'all that are new, I live in Prince George's County, Maryland, 15 minutes away from where the Washington Commanders play football, right? The buzz in the area was he might be gone after the Bears game. As we can see, he is still employed. He just got embarrassed by the Cowboys on Thanksgiving, which is a yearly tradition around here. So I don't know why that will be the one that will get him fired, but sure. My theory is twofold. One, Ron Rivera is a cancer survivor and Washington has new ownership. Firing a cancer survivor in the middle of the season, not the greatest headline in the world. So they might, they're going to wait till the off season on that one. Plus you got to remember with this new ownership, they didn't hire anybody in that building. From the GM to the coach to the people working concessions, they didn't hire anyone. So I think this offseason, they're going to burn the whole thing to the ground. Everybody, everyone's fired. Players, we'll see who gets traded, we'll see who doesn't. But a lot of people are losing their job in Washington this offseason. So to answer your question, he is going to get fired. That's going to happen. Just not during the season. Thanks for the question. Do you think it's time for the Pats to move on from Bill? As I mentioned many times before, I am a Patriots fan, so this question hits very close to home. And you just will not get me to say that Bill Belichick should no longer be the coach of the Patriots. You're not going to get me to say it. I almost got there after the Germany game. I was in a very dark place. Almost got there, but I'm not there anymore. Patriots fans that are campaigning to get Bill Belichick fired, I got to say this to y'all. You spoiled bastards. You spoiled brats. You have enjoyed 20 years of the greatest run in the history of sports, not even the NFL, the history of sports, the greatest run ever. But after four seasons post Tom Brady, you want to kick this man out the door. Okay. Can I break down these four seasons for y'all? Season one, the Cam Newton COVID year, which was going great before Cam Newton got COVID and he wasn't the same after that. And nothing was right during that season because the world was shut down and nothing was functioning properly. Okay. One bad year ended up getting like the 15th pick in the draft with said 15th pick. We draft Michael McCorkle Jones, better known as Mac Mac Jones rookie year. Oh my God. We make the playoffs. Granted got slaughtered by the bills. <laughs> Absolutely slaughtered by the bills. Right. But that's also the same year that the Bills lost the 13 second game to the Chiefs. That Bills team was potentially a Super Bowl team. And if not for those 13 seconds, might have made it. The following two years are the objectively terrible years. I have no defense for the next two years. The Matt Patricia Joe Judge year, which as much as I have my complaints about Mac Jones, I think this year is single handedly responsible for breaking this man because the malpractice of hiring two people who have never coached offense before. To be responsible for the development of your second year quarterback is terrible, awful, inexcusable. One of the worst decisions a head coach has ever made. However, winning six Super Bowls should give you the leeway to make a terrible decision. So that season goes to hell. Okay, coming into this year where anybody with a brain knew that the Patriots were going to suck this year. We all knew it. Everyone knew it. This year has been awful, 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 terrible. We are in line for the number three pick right now. But here's the doozy. Bill Belichick is in a lose-lose situation as far as the public concern. If he starts winning games and fucks up our chances of getting the number one pick, the Patriots fan base is going to be pissed and going to want him fired. If he keeps losing games and the Patriots continue to look terrible, they're going to want him to be fired. It's a lose-lose situation. And here's what I think is the main reason why specifically the New England area and the media is really pushing to get Bill out of there. Bill Belichick has been a complete and total dick to the people doing his press conferences his entire career. That shit's real cute. When you're winning Super Bowls, it's adorable. Oh my God, look at his short answers. We're on to Cincinnati, ha ha ha. When you bench your starting quarterback five times in the same season, but you keep starting him in the next game, not as cute anymore. We want some goddamn answers. So after two decades of Bill giving you his ass to kiss, yeah, now that he's under some heat, he hasn't earned a lot of goodwill with the people in the media. So yeah, they pushing to get him out of there. But I flatly disagree. I think if you win six chips and give us two decades of unprecedented success, you deserve to suck for at least five years. At least, at least five. I don't think that's asked for too much. 20 years of greatness, 
five years of sucking. And if you want to be honest, we only really sucked for two. But here's why I don't want him to be fired. However, I want his hands off the steering wheel a lot a bit. Bill Belichick is in his going into his mid 70s. My grandmother is in her mid 70s. I love you, grandma, because my grandma does listen to some of the things I do. I mean, no disrespect by this. Love you, grandma. We have not let my grandmother behind the wheel of a car in about a decade. Bill Belichick is running every aspect of the Patriots organization as we speak. So I can in good conscience continue to watch him be the GM and coach of this team at the same time. And if you think about it, the real problems with Bill Belichick has been him as a GM. Clearly can still coach. However, is Bill Belichick willing to say, okay, after 23 years of me making all the decisions about personnel and coaching, I am now going to give the personnel decisions to somebody else and I'm just going to deal with it and coach who they give me. History says there's no way in hell that's happening. And if that happens, there's no way you can bring Belichick back. He can't continue to make all the personnel decisions and coach. That's not, that's just impossible. Last point, and then I'll move on because this podcast is way longer than I thought it would be. And this is, I think, the second and most important point. The GM part is the most important point. Second and most important point. Who the fuck wants to be the next coach behind Bill Belichick? The next quarterback we got behind Tom Brady was Cam Newton, who literally had no other options. Who wants to follow Belichick? After two decades of the most successful coaching run we've ever seen, who wants to be the guy to follow that? You're, there's no way you're going to be good enough. Unless you are another Bill Belichick, who we already had. Let me tell you how fickle Boston sports fans are. Because if mysterious new head coach comes in next year and he sucks, flat out awful, you know what the first thing they're going to say? Man, I miss Bill Belichick. We would have never dealt with this under Bill Belichick as if this current year never happened. Thanks for the question. Don't fire Belichick, the coach. Fire Belichick, the GM, though. He got to go.